we, um, we think about uh, how we make the wines in connection with uh, food all, all the time. Um, the, the Europeans have always uh, uh, insisted on pairing wine with the food and not, and not food with the wine. The, the food is actually the most important part of the meal, and you want the wine to complement uh, the food. So that's, that's, always the first, that's always the first thought. Uh, the, the, the other thought is like what our terroir gives us here. And um, so, so the wines from this region, this Cape May Peninsula region, have certain you know, char characteristics that uh, you know, we, tr we try to emphasize with food pairings. Uh, Nebbiolo is uh, a very tannic wine. It's our, it's our most... Uh, Tannic wine, it, 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 it wins a lot of uh, medals, best in shows. And um, uh, because, because of the tannic, so it, it has this, uh, it has this uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, bit bitterness in the structure that, um, that complements uh, uh, me meaty kind of food. So a filet mignon, a, uh, a prime rib, a filet mignon or with a, you know, a hearty ribeye steak, say, you don't want a wine that's going to overpower the meat. You want a wine that's going to like basically measure up and... and, and it's, it's, going, it's going to like slice through the fats of the meat and, it, and, it's, and, and it's going to create, uh, you know, a mouthfeel that is, that is, that, that is complementary. Uh, it, it, not overpower, like you don't want a lot of oak in the, in the wine, but, uh, but, but you, do, you do want it to kind of like, sl like I said, slice through the, you know, the fattiness. The, the Barbera is uh, tannic, but a lot less tannic than the, uh, than, than the Nebbiolo. Also has a little bit more uh, acid uh, structure in it. And so the Barbera would fare better with like lighter types of food. So, uh, so here, here maybe you would have like, uh, you know, like a red pasta dish with, uh, you know, meatballs or sausages, maybe a chicken dish, uh, like a chicken cacciatore. Uh, the, 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 the acids here uh, would help with, with that. Also, the, te the texture of this wine is kind, is kind of light and it would allow you to emphasize the food. That's right, so this is a, this is a blend. So this is kind of like in the, you know, uh, if this one was heavy tannins, light tannins, this, this, tannin, this one's in the middle of the road. So this has got like some Syrah in it, it's got some, uh, it's got, it's got some sir, sir, um, uh, Merlot and it's got some Zinfandel in it. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big wine, it's a full bodied, Wine and it would it would it would take care of the pork, uh, and again you have that kind of like uh, you know the fattiness uh, being um, taken care of by the by, you know by the tannins because this this has good tannins but they're softer than the Nebbiolo tannins which also be you know in addition to pork I would imagine that 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 could be a good pizza wine it could yeah be it could be wine exactly it could be a good it could it could it could go any with uh, you know any red you know any red sauce kind of a yeah kind of a dish. Now, white wines, you know, have always been known for seafood or chicken dishes, and, and yes. you have your Chardonnay and your Sauvignon Blanc. Tell us a little bit about the differences with the Chardonnay and the Sauvignon Blanc. So, the, the, the Chardonnay here has a, uh, a, a very citrusy quality, also has some minerality to it. We have a couple of things here. One, one is... Uh, there, there's uh, there's uh, a lot of trace amounts of iron in the soil here, and th those those uh, trace amounts trickle up into the minerality of the of the wine. The other thing that we have is the uh, Delaware Bay, which is about a half a mile, and the prevailing summer breezes deposit the uh, the salt from the bay, not just on the plant but on the skins of the grapes themselves. And so these two factors are kind of contributing to, uh, you know, the, the minerality. And, and so that's why uh, this, 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 uh, this wine, so the white wines are not nearly as tannic, but they're acidic. They have more bite. They have more crispiness to them. And so these, these are meant for, uh, yes, yeah, seafood dishes, but also the Chardonnay goes well with cheeses, especially soft cheeses. Because we have a big shellfish industry here. And uh, the Sauvignon Blanc um, is, is more of a, uh, a passion fruit uh, kind of a nose. Uh, it, it has um, 
you know, uh, mangoes and bananas kind of, uh, you know, uh, nose to it. But, but uh, it also has, you know, good acidity. And so uh, this, this one would go well slicing through, uh, I like to use that word, uh, the oils of, uh, of fish, particularly, particularly shellfish. So oysters, uh, crabs, uh, you know, mussels, um, all, all the uh, scallops, all of those shrimp, all those kind of things pair well uh, with, the, with the Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs>